Hello, greetings. This is Gilles Mancier. I saw like, come and say hello. Wish you a good day. Continue to offer uh, guidance, inspiration, just to share thoughts and ideas. Today, I'm going to speak about life as, as what it, if it was a restaurant, life as it was a buffet, or life as it was a kitchen. And also speak of soulmates, soul twins, as well as some uh, philosophical ideas about, um, about classical music also, and about some philosophical ideas about the political situation. For first, I want to say that um, sometimes one minute of doubt is, is enough to throw the whole flow into chaos. So we want, once we get in the flow, we want, we have no doubt for, for when we ascend, we, we have no longer doubt. We'll know, we'll work from, from, pure knowing and there will be absolutely no doubts. Yet it is uh, to understand that <clears throat> we are creating amazing possibility beyond that which is experienced on the Earth. Because well, the Earth is, is the most important planet in the whole galaxy. Uh, it's the, because it's where, the, the, it's where all the, uh, the, the, the stakes here are very, very big and everybody's got their eyes on, the, on this planet because the darkness is so intense and because of that, the light that we're producing is creating amazing possibilities for the future beyond that reality of the Earth. The galactics were explaining that we're, for the future, we are creating whole planets, whole civilization, whole solar systems, all galaxies even in the outer space, in the outer universe of the future. We're going to create civilizations that are going to be so marvelous because of our dreams, our, our inspiration, what we get here. We are contributing to the future of the universe in a way that we cannot even phantom. And so it is important to, to, uh, to trust and continue in your, in, your, in your work, your spiritual work, your inner work, whatever that uh, your call may be on that relationship. <coughs> uh, I wanted to, to explain to make a little metaphor as if the life was a restaurant. So we come and we sit at a table and then we have this menu, which is all kinds of desires, desires that we have. And then the waiter comes and we say, we want this, we want that, we want this. And my mother always says, when you order something, you, it's like uh, when you order something in a restaurant or in life, you don't go every, every 10 seconds to the kitchen and say, did you forget what I ordered? You know, it's going to be coming. But sometimes we order certain things that take a very long time. So, so we get silly and, and we see other people eating their food and we're like, yeah, they forgot my order. And so we run into the kitchen and say, no, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And so, uh, um, so sometimes uh, the, the waiter will rarely come and say, well, we're out of order. <laughs> After the whole wait, so we're out of order. We want to order something else. Usually, whatever we order, the will come. It is just a matter of certain things take a longer time to prepare. And so, uh, but, but every desire has been recorded, every, every dream, every prayer has been recorded in the universe and within our DNA. Now, we can imagine that life would be a buffet. It is like... Um, Certain people like certain things, other people like other things. And, and sometimes we feel, feel very critical of what people are doing, what, they, what, what they're eating in there. So the idea is to let them eat whatever they want to eat and, and to serve ourselves. It, it feels like it, maybe some of what they think they're eating will fall on our plates and we don't want that. And so in a sense, we want to we wanna understand where if there is no prejudice, then we should, uh, we should be free to do whatever we want. We do not want to create prejudice to others. But as long as, as we're doing that, uh, well, there is a difference between uh, being, um, um, what is it called, um, conservator or liberal. Uh, it's a philosophical idea. In France, the liberal are the left wing and the conservator, uh, the, 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 the liberal are the right wing and the conservator are the left wing. Whereas in America, it's the opposite. The liberal are left wing and the conservator are right wing. And so, the, and so we want to find is the balance between them, between the democracy and, and republic. The republic is a meritocracy, is the freedom to create, and the dem, and the, the democracy is everybody's got equal rights. So it's about being social and liberal in the same time to take care of everybody. And so um, I'm going to return shortly to that. And I, I wanted to speak about soulmates. Soulmates, soul twins, for it is, it is what uh, soul we were separated, as in the banquet of Platon, they explain human beings were created a whole, but then we get separated, and this separation is unbearable to be separated from our other half, which makes us complete. Often, uh, on top of which, often well, other, the other part of ourselves stays on the higher plane, only one part of us incarnates, so it is, that's why we're searching a partner on this physical plane. 
And so, but sometimes both, both part of, of the soul comes down, like Isis and Osiris, uh, Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Uh, and, and for me, I do feel like uh, there, there is this other part of me that's been incarnated and I still believe it is a relationship for me, for a soul twin or ultimate soulmate uh, can, be, uh, can be a catalyst for growth or a relationship. For we have, we have, there is only one soul, so the whole world is our soulmate, but there are beings that we have a deep connection to. And so, uh, so just to bring an example, I hope this is just a personal example. Many, many years ago, decades ago, I met a woman that I thought she was the love of my life. I know, I realized because just meeting her, hundreds of past lives that we had together as a couple. And so, but uh, she was completely hermetic to that. First, she had a rich boyfriend and I was a bohemian artist and she couldn't stand tobacco and I was a smoker and so so she but she became a catalyst the relationship didn't work and but uh, but she made me realize that I had to, to take care of my physical body many many years ago I realized that we, among all the past life we had together there was this one life when I was a very powerful sovereign and we were in love, we were a couple, she was, uh, she was with me and we were together. And, um, but in, in this past life, she couldn't have children, so I had to, to choose another wife for, for higher state reason, to, to, um, to, to have a, a, a descendants. It was, it, was, it was very important. And so she, she suffered some humiliation there, and I felt like in this life she made me suffer that humiliation in that counterpart. But this is, this is all past. It's all forgiven. It's all complete. Now I'm, I'm hoping that this one relationship I'm waiting for, I mean, I still feel, I sense that we're family. We're meant to be together, to have a child together, to become a, to become a couple. And so I'm still focused on that, concentrated on that. And so we, we all have, a, there, there, is, there, there is more than one soulmate. Soulmates could be a man, a man, a woman, a woman, or a man and a woman. And there is more than one, but it usually feels on, 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 on the palm of a hand. Huh? On, on the, there's, about, there's not that many in the world. I, I ran into this website, uh, it's, a, it's a bit scary, you know, what? not scary, but it's called World O Meter. And you see the, popul the world population, it's like moving at, at fast, all the people, see all the people that dies. When you see that, you can send love and light and all the people that are born every second, send love and light to all the people that, that, that are passing on, returning to the light, and those who are arriving on the planet. But there's sev over 7.7 .7 billion people on this planet and the counter, the counter is really going really, really fast. And so there's a lot of souls that wants to incarnate on this planet, although it is a very, very difficult, uh, very difficult uh, planet to incarnate on. I'm going to pull a few cards for the Akash. For see, the highest wisdom for us today is war and battle. It's putting an, an end to those war and battles. It's part of the philosophical idea that I wanted to discuss today is, uh, is the idea that... Um, that all the, the, the most, uh, the, in terms of carbon imprint, we got pollution in carbon, the biggest polluter on the planet is the, is the military industrial complex of America. They're polluting more than, than, than everybody else put together. They're spending billions and trillions of dollars on those wars. And the wars not only pollute on the, pollute the planet, but they're creating a catastrophe on the, on, on the ground. It's, it's just completely insane to continue in those wars. They should have diplomatic solutions solution for what we no longer need, big armies as philosopher of peace. I am just expressing my ideas. I'm not like criticizing the, the path of anyone. But uh, first, the wars are very expensive. The, the armies are very expensive. We should better close and feed the people and, and, and educate them and nourish them. Uh, same thing with immigration. First, we want to take care of all our population before we, we bring in those mass population that comes from other, other land. Uh, otherwise, it's just creating the peddlers and people that are, that are starving on the streets. It's like, first, we have to take care of ourselves. And then how many people can we feed and educate and house? And so... Because now the danger is not about those big nations, it's, it's about uh, criminality and, and, and terrorism, uh, which those things could be with love and light, we can attenuate that and, and bring it back into balance, which will be brought into balance. Once we put an end to, to war and battle, we find figure of authority, we become an authority, we bring the peace, we create that inner peace and we bring the peace wherever we go. What we need to understand is the orphan, is the ability, is the understanding that we we feel very separated, we feel lost in the, in lost in space uh, when there is a, this connection to the love of God, the heart of God. We need to reconnect to that love. It is a, it is a long and difficult process. For that, we we need to understand the art. The art is a great catalyst for for reconnecting, for being in the moment, for being in the flow, for being in a creative mode. 
uh, what we need to do is Greco-Roman. It's about being uh, connected to those powers, the, those, uh, the, 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 this history, this, uh, the, this uh, for the, the, the Greco-Romans were and uh, the, the gods of mythologies were advanced extraterrestrial that knew themselves. They were they, 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 when they integrated the physical plane of the earth, they become polarized, and there was a struggle for power. Then eventually it settled down. But they are they are very advanced beings, and we are all connected to this story. We all had past lives in this uh, in these times. For the, the, the physical interaction happened around thirty five thousand years ago, as well as the, the Egyptian gods. Huh? They were real beings from the whole galaxy. They were they were advanced beings, and the outcome is growth. It is the trees. It is. Um, it is a progress. It is. It is about being anchored into the earth and about reaching with our branch towards the sky. Well, I hope this uh, resonated with you. I wanted to say it's important to listen to 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 classical music a little bit. Personally, I really like uh, Chopin. I like um, I like um, Bach. Uh, I, I like uh, Beethoven. But there is um, so so it's good because it can unlock certain certain tension. The classical music there is sacred code in the music that can unlock certain things within ourselves and release certain energies. But there is a musician that is not maybe the favorite of most. Um, Meloman, those people who love classical music, but it's very important, is Mozart. Mozart was an Arcturian soul, and within his music there is sacred encodement to open the DNA. They said that if you, open, if you listen to Mozart for 96 hours straight, you, you will achieve a certain liberation of your DNA. The proof, there are many proofs of, uh, with that. Is that uh, when they when they play it in nurseries, the little babies are they, they find that babies are more uh, fulfilled. They, they 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 grow faster. They're happier. They're more calm. So so it's played in many many nurseries. Uh, also, when you when you play Mozart and uh, around nature, the plants love it. The plants feel like ah. Oh, the, the, the favorite music of all the plants. And in Japan, there is this place named Kobe where they have those very cow. Uh, the best meat in the world, and so the cows are very well treated, like royalty. They're like they get massage every day. They serve like high-end foods with white gloves, and and, and they only play the music of Mozart because uh, so the, there was a documentary and the. the the person who was asking the, the guardian of the, he said, well, would you try the Beethoven? I said, no, only Mozart. It calms the cow and it's, it should be, it, Mozart should be really more used as, as a, as, as a catalyst for, for finding this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this opening of, uh, of the DNA. Another thing I wanted to speak about, though those are philosophical, um, or it's not really philosophical, but I think that we, we, we're working with this, uh, this channel or, or internet through the Wi-Fi, mostly. And uh, they're trying to make 5D, but 5D is very negative for, for the brain. And it's, it, it, what they, they, some people will try to use that to control the brain wave of people. But the, there is already the Leafy. The Leafy is the connection through the light. And there are um, airline companies that are already implementing this Leafy. It's faster and it's safe for, the, for health. For light, light is much more safe than those electromagnetic negative uh, lower frequencies. And, and eventually we'll be able to use the sun as, as a power to communicate. To, to use the light of the sun as, as, a, as a fuel for there is already a, we, are, we already know creating power cells from, from the sun to accumulate the, we're going to develop those technologies for the sun that's giving far more energies that we don't even suspect that we could use that is even better than what we use now for if we had to pay the, the bill the, the sun for the heat and light that it provides the earth, uh, it would be a very expensive bill, but it is a benefactor. It's the one who gives us all. It gives, every, it gives, it made life, makes life possible here. And so we want to be blessed. We want to be uh, thankful to, to our benevolent neighbor, the sun. For we are working towards this completion, the completion of our of our past. Huh? And uh, I also wanted to just the last thing is that. Um, we, we hope that this, this conflict in the Gulf of Oman, there were two, uh, two vessels that were attacked. And we hope that this will not uh, make uh, to become a war. But I, I, something that pops into, popped into my mind is that those two vessels, there was one Norwegian and one Japanese. And those two vessels, are, are those two countries, are two countries that, uh, that says that they have to kill 100 whales, or I don't know, so many whales every year for scientific purpose. To me, killing whales is a crime against humanity. It's a crime against the planet and it shouldn't be. For no scientific reason is valuable enough to kill whales. And I 
thought that was interesting. There's only few countries that, uh, that want to say, well, because there was laws against killing whales, but they said, no, we, we are above that law. We're going to kill whales for scientific purpose. And so that was kind of interesting that, the, of course, we love the Norwegian and we love Japanese. It's not a criticism on their culture, the beautiful people, beautiful culture. But um, uh, I just thought it was, uh, it was kind of strange that the, 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 the nationality of those... Uh, of those um, those that were um, suffered those attacks, and ho let's hope that uh, let's send peace and love to the whole region, so that uh, everybody can calm down and find this brotherhood. Rather than this, to the, they need to open lines of communication. There is no more need for 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 wars, for and and because it's it's uh, it pollutes too much. It's too dangerous. It creates suffering, and it's like uh, we're gonna send love of to uh, love and light to all those who are living in those places where they're, they're still uh, plagued by war. As a peace philosopher, it is my responsibility, and not here to criticize humanity, but um, but I, I do want to promote the idea of peace. And uh, the card of the day is justice, is divine justice. So we're calling on for balance, equilibrium, justice. For for when there is injustice, there is a, there is a feeling of sense of prejudice. For um, and so we want we want to call on that justice. We hope for the divine intervention, so that everything, everyone, everything will be considered, will come up to for be consideration. What needs to be let go, what needs to be kept, and so. Let us pray for that, let us call on that, let's become a sovereign authority on the divine justice that can emerge from within our heart and follow that inner guidance as much as possible. Uh, the paintings behind me here, it's called Ascension, it is like a god head that's moving, uh, moving upwards with the eye of Horus. Yeah? And here it's a painting of a scene, and it started a long, long time ago, and it was a very simple painting, but so much has happened, and those people came in, and now I was looking at it, I felt those two paintings are a little bit weak. So I might just keep working on those two paintings. At first they were perfectly integrated, but now I feel it's the weakest, I, I kind of like those, those are fine. But those, are, so I don't, but the, the challenge is not to make them too strong, that they would overtake the painting again, and then I would have to rework the whole process again, so it's, uh, it's very subtle, but... It's a, it's a part, it's a path of creation, you know, creation, sometimes you're, you're facing challenges, but it's these pictorial challenges. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I like you for, uh, thank you for, for, for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. And um, when I finish with a song, it was the first song I ever tried to sing on the internet. When I first started, um, I thought my, I would practice my, my voice, and it's, it's not the easiest song, and it's... Uh, it's um, it's uh, it's, uh, it's it's the first song I ever tried to sing. It's a, it's a song by Leonard Cohen. It goes like this: I heard there was a sacred code that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? It goes like this: the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift. The baffled king composing, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Well, your face was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty in the moonlight of her through you. She tied you to a kitchen chair, she broke your throne and she cut your hair, and from your lips she drew the Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Well, baby, I've been here before. I've seen this room and I walk this floor. I used to live alone before I knew you. And I've seen your flag on the marble arch. And love is not some victory march. It's a cold and it's a broken alleluia. 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 There was a time when you let me know what's really going on below, but now you never show it to me, do you? 
And remember when I moved in you, and the holy dove was moving too, and every breath we drew was Alleluia. 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 Well, maybe there's a God above, but all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who outdrew you. And it's not a cry that you hear at night, it's not somebody who's seen the light, it's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Well, thank you very much for sticking till the end. I had a personal announcement to make, but I will make it tomorrow. Uh, I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and, um, and uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Namaste.